Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Kagetsu Toya. This is apparently one of the uh, the daily messages. I did get a couple more just when I was testing to check out the audio to make sure that I could fix the bug, which I did, and uh, they amounted to nothing. One of them was don't drink till you're 20, which I don't know if that's a legality thing or because I thought you could drink when you're 18 in Japan, but who knows. Anyways, this time it's the scenario director's habit. He likes to make life-altering decisions with rock, paper, scissors, and then he loses. Dang. Dang, that's real. So, uh, I did fix the audio error. Now, here's the thing, okay? Listen up. So, I fixed the audio thing, and it's funny, because I gave it Google, and it was like, yeah, this audio bug is known for people who pirate the game. I'm going to be honest with you all. I totally did, and here's the reason why. It's just, it's just like, yeah, I own it physically, but it's so much work to install it myself. It's actually easier to just get the version. And plus, then I don't have to worry about, like, touching the disc and, and ruining the value. Right? Okay, so I'm not crazy, right? Okay. Um, but I did find that there was, much like with Tsukihime, there are multiple different sort of, um, let's say, collections of music you can use, right? So I first off installed the, uh, for, for now, we're going with the original soundtrack. Maybe at a certain point we'll switch over um, to the one that we had in the first part, although it was wrong, was the Suki Bako one, right? With a couple of remixes. But for now, I'm going to say let's stick with the original soundtrack just to give that a bit of a listen. And then later on we'll switch up to the other one. I just like the variety, right? Uh, no anime pack for obvious reasons. There's no... To get to Toya anime, but who knows? Maybe we'll see about making a uh, another remix pack or something. That's possible. It's easy. It's easy. It's just files, right? But they got to be put into OGG format, which is not easy. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this was a well-known bug. Some people, literally, some people said, just go and like re-download the game and extract it from another one. And I'm like, oh boy, it's a lot of work. So regardless, it's fixed. That's the important thing, and we are good to move on to continue with our. Kagetsutoya adventure. So we're still here. And uh, I guess we're on a day again. So here's the question. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, I was like, okay, are, are we, is it going to be anything new? The answer is yes. I dreamt a ridiculous dream. Something really ridiculous. Whether it was ridiculously fun or ridiculously scary, I can't even tell. It was a messed up dream. Shikisama? Are you awake, Shikisama? The careful voice of Hisui. It's time to wake up. Won't you wake up for today, Shikisama? How can I not wake up after hearing such words? I force my still tired body to wake up. Did you have a good night's rest, Shikisama? Mmm, more than Hisui. So I have to deal with a person like me. No, it's nothing like that. I enjoy waking you up in the morning. Oh. Okay, well, if you enjoy it, I guess it's okay. I would hate to be doing what she's doing. Uh, Hisui is carefully looking at my face. Shikisama, you don't look well. Is your health okay? Yeah, I feel normal. I'm not even sweating. I bring my hand up to my forehead as I speak. Sweat. Now I think about it. I dreamt something weird last night. Ah, it's nothing serious. I'll try waking myself up too. Alright! Maybe I'll buy an alarm clock today. I clap my hands as I suggest it. And Hisui just stands there with a reluctant expression. Hisui? Shikisama, do you dislike me waking you up every morning? Yeah, bro, that's inconsiderate. Uh, no, it's not like that. Absolutely not. Then, please refrain from saying such things. If I trouble you, Shikisama, then I can't perform any of my duties. She looks at me silently. I do want to apologize, but it feels as if I'm being threatened. Alright, certainly you're more reliable than an alarm clock. I don't know if that says something about history or the state of alarm clocks in Japan at this time. Thank you for saying that. Then, Shikisama, what will you do today? Huh? Today? I was about to say, of course I'll... Then all my thoughts stopped. I don't know what I was going to do today. Did I fall asleep yesterday thinking about what I should do today? 
I've been thinking about what I did yesterday, and then I finally just accept the fact that I can't remember. It's not like I remember... It's not like remembering what I did yesterday will change what I'll do today. Shiki-sama, what are your plans for today? Alright, today... Today I'll... Oh. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to go to school. When I enter the living room after changing, Akia's drinking tea as usual. I don't have any tea today. Akia, who's uh, been looking at the courtyard, now looks up at me. Good morning, Nissan. I'm glad that you look well this morning. A satisfied smile. What she really must be saying is you got up early for once. Yeah. Nihau. Oh, after a simple greeting, I head into the dining room. This is similar. Stand corrected. You're just as always today. Well, okay, so this is... Is this the same? This is the same. Okay. Let's see here. I'm just checking if this is the same. Please don't say useless things in the morning. Drinks elegantly. Morning doesn't change. Key and I are both used to it, so it's just another morning. The one thing I was told is that I definitely need to go to the tea room. Come to the lobby after I finish my preparation. It's only 7 o'clock. Probably drop by somewhere. Well then... Okay, so if we want to go to hang out with CL today, let's start by going to CL Senpai's apartment. Yeah, even though it'll be a detour, I guess I can go to school with her. If a key or Kohaku catch wind of it, I'll be dead, but be that as it may. I head out before Akiha. It's so much more twangy, this version. I had a, This was the sample one I listened to, and it's like, yeah, it's way more twangy. It's kind of silly, though, and I, I guess it, it kind of fits the tone. Shiki-sama, did you forget anything? Hisui suddenly asks. Ah, uh, no. I thought my preparations were complete. I open my bag to check its contents. Writing utensils, student ID, today's notes, and the hidden knife. Everything seems to be normal. You know, just the, just the, t t <laughs> you know, just the type of guy who just brings a knife to school every day. It's whatever. As a teacher, that wouldn't terrify me if that was found or dropped out of the bag at all. Pasha, whatever, right? Just how it is. I don't think I forgot anything. Then I'll see you later. I might come back late, so don't worry too much. Yes, it must be the cultural festival preparations. If you decide to sleep over anywhere, please give me a call. I wonder if that's even an option. Okay, then I'll see you later. I turn away from the bowing history and trod downhill. Trod, 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 trod. Look at us, we're a trod -ladite. I arrive at Senpai's apartment with time to spare. That looks like a house you'd just see here. Maybe see how Senpai's having breakfast. I knock on the door. Hmm? Uh, who is it? Her courteous yet energetic voice greets me. It's Tono. Can I come in for a while? Of course. I can't stop what I'm doing now, so please, help yourself in. Assuming she's cooking, I go into her kitchen. Excuse me. Senpai's preparing breakfast in the kitchen. I feel like I went to sleep late last night and woke up late today. Senpai opens the door and comes in. Oh, cute! Oh my god. That's adorable. Wow, there is... There is more effort put into this than in any of the CGs that were in Tsukihime, right? Look, and it's, it's in the shading. Wow, he really improved his shading. Morning, Tonokun. I thought we could both be late today, but you're pretty quick. I thought we would both be, huh? Uh, yeah. I woke up a bit early, so I have some spare time today. Is that so? That's amazing. I'm really tired, so I thought I would skip school. She covers her mouth with her small hands and yawns in a cute way. Senpai is still doing her nocturnal patrols. Cleansing the streets once infected by vampires supposedly takes three months to a year. Seems like Senpai is the only one doing it in this city. Senpai, if you're tired, why don't you rest a bit? You're doing something important. I think you have an excuse to miss school. I was thinking that, but I decided to try a little harder. What with the cultural festival preparations and all? And seeing your face really cheered me up. She smiles a smile that would even beat down the morning sunshine. It's a true blessing that I can be here to see it. Oh, if my face cheers you up, please look at it all you want. I'll come whenever you call. Oh, man. Holy crap. 
I embarrassedly scratch my cheek to hide my face a little. Uh, senpai, you're helping the student government too, right? I heard that you're the coordinator. The return of the long fingers. Yes, I didn't want to become a member, but I can't attend their events if I'm not, so I was forced to join. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad to let someone who comes and goes like the wind participate in club activities. One must have more than just the desire to be a part. Oh, and the president is Maki-senpai, right? It seemed like he relies on you a lot. I don't know who that is. Uh, senpai suddenly takes on a depressed expression. Senpai, are you not getting along well with Maki-senpai? Uh, no, I don't have any problems with the president, but he asked me out a few times. Huh? Ask? Who asked whom? Ah, <sighs> the president asks me. What? what I stand suddenly and with force. S S Senpai, what did you say? Well, I said I was uh, what, what was expected. I can't go out with anyone so casually, given that I don't have time for it with the street patrols. Ah, I let out a sigh of relief. Mm, she denied. That's a relief, but why did she say it in the present tense and not the past tense? Uh, senpai, hmm? I refuse every time, but he doesn't seem to care. Asking me out has replaced our greeting. Every time? You're not thinking of consenting, are you? Maki Senpai is being stubborn. That may be so, but, well, I might fall for his perseverance. Since I'm human, too. You're not, but okay. I'll probably like the one who likes me without a doubt rather than the one whom I like but who doesn't return my feelings. Oh, dang! She says it as if it were nothing. Senpai, that's... Uh... Hmm. What is it, Tonokun? Uh, let's go out somewhere. I'll take you where you want to go. My face is burning up. Senpai looks at me with a smile. We played right into her hands. Even still, she is still gaslight gatekeeping and girl bossing us. Gladly. But I'm sorry I kind of rushed you. Prankster. I murmur quietly. Senpai keeps on smiling as if she hasn't heard me. Guess I'll have to hide her away from Ikea and get a part-time job to finance what I just said. Okay, I really appreciate perpetually broke Tono. I really do. Uh, time passed so quickly while we chatted it up. Senpai, if we don't leave now, we'll be late for school. I shut as I pick up my bag. Ah, uh, that won't do. I still haven't had my breakfast. That is true. No, I must snap out of it. I don't have time for it. Sorry, Senpai, for bothering you, but are you really going to have breakfast? Yes, most definitely. I'll collapse if I skip breakfast. She says that with such a serious expression. Uh, we haven't had breakfast in a while. Why don't you eat with me? I made a little too much. Senpai, are you saying I should be late? Sure, let's both be late. Um... It should be a crime to use such cutesy eyes to sway a man's mind. Darn it, can I be seduced just like this? <laughs> I mustn't be swayed or no, I want to be swayed. Well, we need to go to her club room anyways, so sure, we might as well. Let's stay. <sighs> what am I stalling about? Senpai said she'll make me breakfast. If I refuse, I'm not even a man. The one thing that worries me is whether I'll be able to finish it after eating Kohaku-san's meal back home. Tonokun, what are you suddenly thinking about? Did I do something wrong? Ah, no, no, not at all. I just decided. I'll gladly eat the food you make me. I'm glad. It was good that I made two persons worth. Then I'll make my preparations. Please, sit and rest. Senpai heads into the kitchen with an apron in one hand. Then what should I do? I could just sit and relax, but I really don't have anything to do right now. Although I'm not hungry, I'm fine without any more food. Having recently had breakfast, the stomach doesn't require more of the brain. If I eat Senpai's rough menu, then it'll be suicidal. Alright, I'll try to get my food down with push-ups. Anyway, I'll have to work off some energy so I can take in the food later. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Huh, it's simple. Tonokun, please come here for a moment. Senpai calls me from the kitchen. Okay, I'm coming. Done with the push-ups. I wipe off my sweat and head over to the kitchen. What is it, Senpai? Or, oh, that's him. I just didn't know how much you would eat for breakfast. You don't seem to not eat anything particular, but you also don't eat too much, do you? Eh, uh, not really. I don't really eat that little either. 
Her consideration is welcome right now. I don't want to waste food that Senpai's prepared, so I'll just get a small amount. I don't think I can eat too much for breakfast. Uh, please give me half a person's serving. Okay, then I'll do that. She smiles while nodding and churns the food on the stove. I catch myself unconsciously going limp after seeing Senpai in an apron cooking breakfast. This is a great blessing and happiness. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've... I don't know... I, th th this... This section feels kind of strangely translated. It feels a slightly alien with some of the sayings. But it kind of... It, 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 it fits the charm, I guess. A person who prepares breakfast with a smiling face. The table that emanates the smell of breakfast. It's too bad that I'm not hungry right now, but this spicy aroma... Wait. Spice? Hold on, wait a sec. I realized now that I was daydreaming a ridiculous dream. Hey, Senpai? I call Senpai who happily tastes the soup from the bowl. Yes. Something wrong, Tonokun? That's... I forgot to say, but in the morning my body's not stable. I know, but today you look well. She smiles widely. Uh, if she smells like that, it becomes difficult for me to tell her what I was going to... So, I was just gonna say, I can eat a normal breakfast, but anything that stimulates the taste buds is... kinda bad. How do I say this? I can only eat Japanese food. She tilts her head questioningly. Well, I, I can eat non-Japanese food, but Japanese would probably be the best. I definitely can't take anything spicy or greasy. Huh? What do you want to say, Tonokun? So... What I'm saying is that I don't like curry for breakfast. That was a weapon drawing noise. Whoosh. The air in the kitchen freezes solid. Tonokun, that means... Uh, no, no, no. I didn't say I don't like your curry. And I'm definitely not looking down on curry. It's just that eating curry at a time like this would probably upset my stomach. Or uh, something. Okay, I want you to... Oh my god. As soon as the dodon happened, lightning actually flashed outside. To the second. Well, it's lovely. It's the first first lightning storm of the year. Oh, you might hear that eventually. But it was right on cue. That's amazing. He she's definitely mad. Tonokun. Yes, yes. I'll eat it. I like curry that I don't like. What do I have to hide? As you can see, I came to eat curry. Don't say such strange things. To eat curry for breakfast. That sounds like an Indian. No. No, it doesn't. No. I literally just watched a whole documentary on Indian cuisine. And it was basically them saying, like, curry doesn't exist in India. Like, what, what, what people think is curry. Curry is just a... It's like there's no curry spice. Like it's there's cur like it was it was a really good documentary, right? But uh oh. Did you see me that way, Tonokun? She seems a little upset. Uh today's breakfast is bread, beanstalk soup, and salad. Okay, yeah, that's it's that's still a pretty heavy breakfast, I'd say. Salad for breakfast is something I've always been told to avoid. It's, it's supposed to give you an upset stomach in the morning, but I actually don't I, I would prefer to have salad. Like, this is, this is a breakfast I would probably enjoy. Because I hate cereal. A normal breakfast, I would say. Uh, uh? That's strange, because... Senpai is... Senpai. Seal Senpai equates to curry, and curry equates to seal Senpai. No, no curry means no Senpai. I can't think of Senpai wanting bread. I... I get it. You placate me like this, and then later it turns out to be curry bread, right? Unfortunately, it's not curry bread either. It'd be a great mistake to eat curry for breakfast. She hands out the beanstalk soup. Tonokun, please get the marmalade and margarine from the refrigerator. And we'll have our breakfast. Senpai prepares the table for two. She places the wares neatly and refreshingly. The food looks like something even I could eat. Wow! It really isn't curry! Of course! It's usual to leave the best food for dinner, isn't it? Hell yeah, it is. It'd be profane to have curry rice for anything other than dinner. Well, maybe lunch. Really? She really looks a bit offended. Oh, is that the reason? For some reason, I accept it as it is. Senpai, you can really restrain yourself from indulging to enjoy things more. I get the margarine and marmalade from the refrigerator. I'm the opposite. Senpai puts an egg in the stew pot. Hmm? 
Is that so? I didn't really think about it much either. Curry gets transported from the stew pot to the plate. Senpai, what did you just put on that plate? Oh, this isn't Tonokun's. It's mine, so don't worry. Eating a night old Ruro bread makes me feel like I can go the whole day without eating anything else. Is that so? Is that why the kitchen smells of curry? Hmm, senpai. Weren't you gonna put off eating curry until dinner? I knew the answer, but I still asked. Hmm? It's bread with curry, not curry with bread. Ah. I thought as much. I thought you were gonna say that. Well, that's very silly. I rest a bit after breakfast, then start on my way to school. Hmm, if we go now, then it'll be third period. Uh, we took a lot of time. Yeah, but is it okay to do this from time to time? Mm -hmm, you're right. It felt like a family, so I just relaxed a bit. Uh, I don't know whether she knows or not, but what she said had meaning. Then, shall we go? We'll split up at school, but on the way there, we should be able to be together. Okay, then let's head out, Shiki-kun. Calling me Shiki-kun instead of Tono-kun, she starts heading out. I can't even answer coolly and just stand there dumbfounded. Alright, off to school it is. And it's lunch! Lunch time has come! The class immediately becomes more noisy and most of the students head to the calf. Tono, what are you gonna do about today's lunch? The hungry Arhiko asks. Hmm, what should I do? What are you gonna do? Me? I'm gonna have some bread. I'm gonna be the bread man, the bread winner, the bread st the bread stir. Food, cafeteria is expensive. All right, we're gonna go to the tea room. Okay, so let's head off there. So, uh, let's go to steal from Senpai in the tea room. Twice today, I'll just go steal some food from CL Senpai in the tea room, uh, tea ceremony club room. I half fill my stomach with two snack breads from the store. The rest will be up to Senpai. Just like exploiting a loophole. I've decided. I'll go to the tea room and drink some tea. Well, I guess I'll just eat some bread. Alone and lonely. Arhiko rushes out as if thinking that now's the chance. What's up with him? I thought he'd come with me. Well, I guess I won't be able to share anything with him. I'll go to the tea room quickly before he changes his mind. Uh, senpai, you're already here. The tea ceremony club room is open. Since the only tea ceremony club member is Senpai, she has to be the only one inside. Cha! I announce my presence as I go in. Cha means tea. Uh, Tonokun, how very sudden of you to come. Sudden? I just thought maybe we could eat lunch together. Uh, I see. I was going to eat right now, actually. Senpai stretches as if tired. Senpai, did something happen? No, there's absolutely nothing wrong. Let's just eat lunch. What's with this definite suspiciousness? If Seal Senpai is usually comes disturbed like that, then there must be something really big. Tonokun, if you don't eat lunch, we'll be over. I'll give you some of mine, so let's enjoy. She speaks with a loud voice, and I instinctively react. Rattle, rattle. The noise comes from the closet. Wait, Senpai. A rat? Or maybe a big cat? Well, either way, it doesn't concern us, so let's keep the lock on the closet closed. And with that, she forcibly sits me down. Rattle, rattle. The noise from the cabinet gets louder. Now that I look closer, Senpai has many scratches on her arm, and one is beautifully laid across the tatami mats. Senpai, did Arkuid perhaps cut? Uh, I get the feeling that if I say any more, something unspeakable will be done to me. No, no, never mind. Let's just enjoy our meal. Yes, today the tempura came out well, and there's definitely nothing in the closet, so pay absolutely no attention. If you do, I'll put you in there or something. With that, she opens her lunchbox in a friendly manner and offers me some. Hi. <sighs> If I do get in there, how long will it be before I'm let out? Of course, until I feel like it. She smiles. Ugh. I don't know why Arkwood is locked up, but... Maybe she'll never be let out. Is that it? Is that literally it? Is that literally it? I walk the rowdy hallway. Lunch is almost over. 
Students in the hallway are chatting dangerously close to the start of the fifth. Oh, wait, isn't this the same? Bright sunlight and scenery. Anyone I know? Day goes by without any major changes. Psychic continues without knowing an end. But did, but I did once think it was weird. Oh, hello. That is... I see it every night and then forget. Whoa, that was the Melty Blood stage. It's a dream too brutal to forget. This is new. What trivial thing am I thinking about? I hyped up a dream trivial enough for me to forget into some terrible nightmare. Today, just like yesterday, is a happy day. I have to try my best to make it into a sad day. Well, that is... I can't even remember yesterday. Who is that? Ugh. I feel nauseous and lean on the wall. My face meets the window, so I watch the outside. The outside is as usual. The reflection is as usual. Without any changes, they watch the surroundings, and I cannot immerse myself in them. Ding dong. Is it tinnitus? A bell rings far away. I know, this is the sound of a funeral bell. Ding dong, the crushing bell sound. With each ring, a part of the world collapses. Not here, but somewhere away from here is collapsing. Just like to everything else, there's an end to the world. There's no such thing as a perpetual today. With realization, it collapses instantly. After an irreversible train ride to the farthest station, one grieves. Something like an unspeakable ridiculousness. The real last station is the one before, but once this happens, there's nothing that can be done. As one stands still, the train rides to the last station. One station a day. Look, look, everyone. Can I indeed get off at the station right before the last? What the frick does that mean? Toto-kun, classes have begun! With that, Mr. Kunahuji starts a conversation in the doorway. I was a little out of it! Is that so? Please hurry to your class! Mr. Kunahuji closed the door behind him. It wasn't anything important. I just didn't hear the bell and didn't go back to class. You heard a bell. Class already started. I should go straight to my classroom. Uh, no. This time we're gonna we're gonna stay because we skipped last time. Let's let's be diligent. No, it just started, so I might get by without being late. Yeah, I encourage myself to go to class, which you should all do always. Don't skip unless you're not feeling well. That's fine. Honestly, if you're not if if you're if you're out of it. Like, I'm, I'm of the mind where it's like, if you need that time, take that time. School assignments can be delayed, you can catch up later. <laughs> Sorry for the weird cut. You ever have that moment where you're like, Boy, I sure hope I, like, prepared the house for the thunderstorm. When I heard some loud, scary crash that I needed to go investigate, so that's just is what it is. It was, uh, curry crimes, obviously. So, anyways... Homeroom. Homeroom is over. So let's, uh, let's see what it is. Maybe the day's longer now, but the sun doesn't seem like it's going to wane. Still feels like day. It makes me feel like I, oh, wait, I want to go back. Well, let's go back to the tea room again. Maybe I'll go to the tea ceremony club room. It's after school. Senpai must be leisurely enjoying her tea alone. We're just chilling with Senpai all day today. I know it said, don't, don't worry about trying to pursue a character route, but I'm gonna. Excuse me! Slide open the door to the tea room. But uh, Senpai's not in. Even though the door was unlocked, she isn't here. Maybe she's just absent for the moment? When I think about it, she did say she'll be busy after school because of the upcoming cultural festival. Senpai definitely declared so a few days ago. God, I forgot even that. My forgetfulness really rears its ugly head. Surprised at my own self, I turned my back to the tea room. Oh, and then we just go. I go uphill. I feel completely exhausted. Maybe because there's no one nearby. Feels like the time I spent at school today belongs to someone else. I despair as I consider the possibility that a normal day might be impossibly out of reach. It's gonna be a lot of reread stuff. Okay, so yeah, we can skip the circus story. Right? Yeah, this... We've read... Here's the UFO, the circus story, which was a good read, but... It's an old story, the temperature drops, he's alone. And now we get home. 
After ascending the hill, I arrive at the main gate of the mansion. Guess who's waiting for me at the gate? Welcome back, Shiki-sama. Are you feeling well? Ah, oh, yeah. I'm back. Feeling well, but why are you here again? Okay, so yeah, this is the same. Having to see you, so I thought I'd greet you. Our smile is an unforeseen mood lifter. Okay. Well, let's head on in. Put down my bag and catch my breath. What will I do? So I went to last time to Kohaku-san's room. This time, let's, uh... Let's try with his... Nah, we'll sit. Well, yeah, no, I'm gonna save his suite for his suite. So you know what, let's just stay in my room. What's gonna happen here? Hmm. I plop on my bed. I relax much more now that I'm in my own room. Hmm, strange. I'm feeling unusually well, but every joint aches. Feels like my reaction speed has gone down. Well, I guess it's okay since it's not anemia or anything. But still, I'm tired. I'm still, still a few hours before dinner, so I'll just relax in my room. Is that literally just a skip option, essentially? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. A soft knock. Shaky Coon, are you asleep? The slightly familiar female voice continues. Uh, it's too bad. I thought maybe I'd see you today. The voice can't be. We only exchanged some greetings. A slightly older woman whom I respected even in my younger years. Above all, the ring that the name Toki has suits her. Who the frick is Toki? Think back to the time when she became special to me, and that makes me realize something I've forgotten. T toki san I jump out of my bed. B wait a minute, please! I'm opening the door! I hurriedly open the door. Knock, knock. The door opens. Uh, who? Uh, I guess you're Toki-san. Hello, Shiki-kun. Excuse me for a moment, please. Uh, uh, come in, please. Please don't be disappointed that the room is bare. Hmm? I thought it was going to be a fantastic room, but it's at least as clean as our hospital. Oh, is she the nurse? Toki-san spins around once to look at the room and then sits down on the bed. Is today special? Since you're here, is my old doctor here too? No, father's not here. Oh, she's the daughter of the... Wow, I never would have thought that the daughter of the doctor would be a character. I'm here as a substitute to do a regular checkup on a san Oh, and she's the family doctor too. Oh, is that so? Is the old doctor retiring soon? <laughs> That'd be nice, but father really is a man of steel. Don't say those words. Don't say those words. Of Steel is greatly ruined for me. Makes me think about Emya. Hmm, no change, eh? I was hoping he would act his age and calm down a bit, but I guess it's hoping a little too much. Huh, <laughs> Toki-san has a lot to overcome. You have such a strong person as a father. Yeah, it really is too much. I really want to trade him in with someone else. Kohaku-chan comes to mind, but I can't take her as a groom, as she is a girl. I mean, you can, but... She sighs seriously. All her ex-boyfriends are said to have gotten beaten up by her father, so she's always single. Oh, dang. Is there anyone as patient as you? Or are you the weird one? You get along well with my father, and father likes you too. <laughs> Every time I see him, he does acupuncture or bone aligning on me. I didn't know it was a sign of affection. Wow, he even did that? Alright, why don't you just become my husband? Okay, I'm gonna be real, Chief. Girls don't just say that as a joke. They don't just say that out of the blue. That means something. Ah! I avert my gaze from Toki-san while coughing. Uh, Toki-san, please refrain from such jokes. I don't know under whose surveillance I am. Oh? I don't think there's anyone here. I thought maybe once was okay. I feel my face becoming red. Toki-san chuckles. Uh, maybe I'm being a bother. I'll be heading back now. I'll see you to the door. It's okay. Gohaku-chan is waiting in the lobby. Ah, oh, that's right. My father asks you to drop by soon. It won't do if you skimp out on the checks because you feel okay now. She waves and leaves. I was really surprised. Toki-san attends a university. Un-university? I've never heard someone say un-university. It's an a-university, uh, just because that's a weird English, like... Exception. You can't say un-university. A university in the city. 
maybe she's returned. It's been two years since we last met, which was when she went off to college. She's as free-spirited as ever and still does things in a strangely elegant way. And her tendencies go along with the flow too well hasn't changed either. I should go see the doctor soon, I suppose. Are we going to get a sick doctor visit section? I love it. And then dinner comes. Uh, the, oh, so then the other one's sitting. Uh, neither of us talk. We're no words. Usual tea time. Today we're playing sevens with cards Kohaku-san brought. In sevens, the four sevens are laid out and the players add adjacent higher and lower cards to them. Okay. Ikea, who had the seven of hearts, starts and the game relaxedly begins. So, Nissan, what did you do yesterday? Ikea asks suddenly as she puts down the Queen of Spades. Yesterday? Ah, uh, that's... I put down the Queen of Clubs. Shiki-san, yesterday we played games in my room together, didn't we? Why would you say that out loud? She lays down the Three of Clubs to one side. Is that so? Then you must have gone to Nissan's room after she finished cleaning the fish in the kitchen. And then Hisui puts down the King of Clubs on the opposite side. Hold on. Then Nissan went to Kohaku's room after talking with me in my room. This time the Four of Spades. Akia seems to insist on spades. Uh, that's... I don't remember. But I can't say that. I declare to pass the turn. For the first time, too. Oh? Isn't that impossible due to the time? Akia-sama, aren't you remembering something incorrectly? Yeah, there's no way. We didn't go see her. Kawaku-san passes as well. Her first time. No, I think Akia-sama's correct. I seem to vaguely remember Shiki-sama going to Akia-sama's room after talking with me. I didn't talk with you? Hisui lays down the Ace of Clubs. Oh, now the clubs are all here. Hmm, anyway, it seems like you were busy, Nisan. Akia nervously declares a pass. Her third time. I told you I was free in the morning. <sighs> I have to pass too. Second time. That is so. I saw you playing with a black cat in the inner courtyard. Kawako-san passes as well. Are they giving hints as to the plot? Second time, just like me. But her pass is not meant as a treat, but to put her prey in a trap. Ah, I see. I didn't see you, so I thought maybe you had gone out. And Hisui lays the two of clubs on top. Shinko Haku-san seem to be synchronized, as all the clubs seem to be uh, come from their hands. Hold on, Hisui. Don't you have anything other than clubs? For example, a diamond? That has never appeared yet. I'm sorry, Akiha-sama. I was told by Nesan to hold the diamonds. Kohaku! You wanted to play fairly today. What signs have you been making to Hisui? Aren't you scheming too much for something as trivial as an after-dinner card game? Oh, she sounds really angry. Even her lady-like words are gone. No, Akiha-sama, I didn't make any signs. Hisui was despairing after looking at her hen, so I gave her some advice. Wordlessly motioning with your fingers and eyes cannot count as advice. Hmm, that's a definite sign. Although I notice it pretty quickly. Uh, you must have been staring only at your cards. The two were planning on putting... Uh, the two were planning on putting you and me in a tough position. But since they were so blatant about it, I found out pretty quickly. Uh, so you just plan to let me go to ruin while saving yourself, Nissan? Yeah. And additionally, the one blocking the Eight of Diamonds is me. Uh, what was that? Ah... Uh, Akiya-sama, what are you doing? Upsetting the table like that is... Did she just thrip flip the table? It's dangerous. Yes, the nearly completed clubs are now all scattered. I'm at a loss for words. Don't go riding on a luxury cruise liner. If the casino inside goes bankrupt... Wait, what? I'm at a loss for words. Don't go riding on a luxury cruise liner. If the casino inside goes bankrupt, the owner might blow up the whole ship on purpose. Everyone stares at Akiya. It'd be cute if she apologized even a little bit, but she just humps and... It's an accident. I was standing up. My skirt got caught. She says that. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Is your skirt made of metal? Yes, of course. The head of the Tono household must use the strongest equipment to protect herself. <laughs> she spits out an unbelievable reply. Additionally, to be exact, it is use the highest quality ornaments to decorate herself. Okay. Understood. Let's call it a night. If we were to play to the end, some people would be hospitalized. Well, whoop, didn't mean to do that. 
pretty clear who to not play games with then, huh? I do love how it's like, when you get these slice of life things, you just like, start to, start to see what they're like outside of the plot, and I love that. Hmm. If it were to the, uh, if it were the end, I would, if it were the end, I would not have fallen for Gohaku's schemes. I would have been at the top, leaving Nissan and the rest without any money. She turns her head as she sits down. Gohaku-san and Hisui expertly pick up the cards as if they're used to it by now. Oh no. Oh, this is a common occurrence. Oh, she flips the table all the time. And so my long day ends. I dumbly stare at the ceiling from my bed. I can't fight off the tiredness as I lie down. But before that, right. Something I need to do. Something missing inside. This happened last time. Something I forgot to say. Something I must definitely do. That is... Okay, so we did the hallucinations. Let's go with uh, something I'm forgetting this time. To remember something forgotten. So I can think of it. Why would I be going through all this trouble? Furthermore, did I even go through the, the trouble? Well, I didn't forget anything important. Maybe it's not something I should worry about. I mutter as I lie. The thing I'm forgetting is yesterday. I went through a few thousand days up until now, so one day isn't that big of a deal. That's a cat. A cat. Just now, a black cat passed by the window. Huh? It's the second floor. I don't remember a balcony that a cat could climb on. Yeah, well, whatever. Fatigue suddenly overwhelms me. I shouldn't worry about such small things and go to sleep. Repeat again. Okay. Okay, so let's let's do one more. Sir, oh, hello. The art director's favorite character, Sukihime Soka. Who? Who's that? Okay. Well, let's do another run, I guess. A day. Let's see if the day starts differently. Jumped ridiculous dream. Okay, that's the same. It was a messed up dream. We can get more about it. Shaggy Sam, are you awake? Careful voice, time to wake up. How could I not wake up? I move my body. Okay, so this this is the same. Is this the alarm clock one? Okay. This is the alarm clock one, yes. So the, we've seen this one. Okay, this time, I'm gonna stay at the mansion. Since it's a holiday, I'll do whatever I want at the mansion. So, oh, is it Schrodinger's holiday? If you go to school, it is, and if not, it's not. First, I'll have some breakfast. Then I'll show my face at tea time, then I'll decide the rest. Understood. Then I'll be waiting at the breakfast table. Hisui bows and walks out. After setting her off, I kick out of bed. Sunlight comes through the window. The early fall sky is sending an impeccably refreshing wind. Oh, so nice. I love wind. Yo, wind in the bedroom is like my favorite thing. I could just chill with an open window forever. Tea time after breakfast. Between 8 and 9 after breakfast, spending time here with the three others is a daily event during holidays. Well... Anyway, I don't really want to go south. There's not many memories down in Okinawa. Ah, Shiki-san, did you go to Okinawa for the middle school trip? That can't be. It wasn't a rich school. It was a more plain trip to Kyoto. Even though they changed it to Okuhita the year after. Kyoto to Okuhita, is it? <laughs> I think there was a hidden meaning behind that change. Wakusan makes a childish, playful smile that I absolutely don't get because there's a lot of dynamics to this politically and probably geographically that I don't get. I heard stories about that from Inui-san. Male students A and B snuck out of the hotel at night and destroyed a historical monument, so the high school is banned from entering Kyoto. Dang! Phew, this is dangerous, dangerous. I almost spit out the plum tea in my mouth. Huh? It's the first time I'm hearing such a story. Oh? Then is this news to you, too? Male student B accidentally broke off the Buddha statue's arm, and male student A, fearing they might be found out, disintegrated it on the spot. It was totally him. And then, I don't know whether playfully or not, they stuffed the remains in a wooden sword case. Wow, I'm quite sure he got some bad punishment for it, that boy. For now, I reply naturally. As a side note, the next day it's a secret Arahiko and I. The, the, it's, a, it's a secret Arahiko that I, pretending to buy a wooden sword, uh, quickly snagged the sheath with the statue arm. Okay. Wow, that's cruel. 
the person will probably become a monster later on in life or he'll make his woman cry. Agreed. Student A is usually calm, but when he's with student B, he seems to do a lot of evil trickery. Or, I don't think this is the case, but maybe that's his true nature. Nissan? So why are you beating around the bush and making me shiver at each word you say? <laughs> no, no, I, I don't think that's it. I shrug my shoulders and reply naturally. Is that so? If another male student speaks, if another male speaks for him, then we'll just have to say uh, that it is so. She elegantly brings her teacup to her mouth. How should I say it? Her expression seems to say, "This uh, morning, it's my victory, Nissan." How unpleasant! Dang, we got tattled on. That's a new bell. The bell rings at just the right time. The bell signals nine o'clock and also the end of tea time. It's time. Kohaku, is the item ready? The item? Yes, it's folded up. Should I bring it to your room so you can wear it? Yes, please. Although I probably won't use it, I'd like to at least try it once. What are you talking about? Akia stands up. Looks like she's going to be in her room today. I'll be in my room for now, but what will you do, Nissan? Me? Well, let's see. I haven't decided yet. I think I'll be in the mansion. Understood. Then let's meet back up at the dinner table. And then excuse me too, I have to clean the guest room this morning. In the living room are Kohaku-san and I. Kohaku-san starts cleaning the uh, teacups and the pots. I can do that. Kohaku-san, you've been working since morning. Ah, thank you. But I've been resting all through the morning, so this is the last thing I have to do. Please don't worry and go rest. Kohaku-san cleans all the wares desperately and disappears in the kitchen. Then, what will I do? Whoa! It'd be nice to rest in my room. I'll go to the Nanaya's forest. I'll go to Ak Akiha's room. Maybe I'll help Hisui. I'll visit Kohaku-san. I'll go sunbathing in the courtyard. I'll go sunbathing. Okay, so they did say about with the courtyard and seeing the cat, right? That is something. Although, the fact you're calling it the Nanaya's forest is very interesting. I'm going to go check that out. I'm curious about that. Step in the darkness that's even during the day. A dark forest. The ancestral family that made its home and perished here. Did you, where is this? I don't have any business here. Right. There's no way it would have anything to do with this place. How would this forest be related to the mansion? To think of coming here is problematic, but actually coming here is even more problematic. Blankly passing by Kohaku-san's garden after leaving the inner courtyard, I find myself here. So wait, where is... I thought it was like far away or something. Kohaku-san, you wouldn't actually be able to, You wouldn't actually happen to be a robot from the future that can do anything, right? That's right, I don't remember going through that door. Alright, I'll go back. I clap my hands and turn toward where I came from. I courageously walk back from the forest where I used to walk, relying only on moonlight when I was young. Okay, something's up with this place. Something's up with the world, you can tell, because we shouldn't have been able to get there. It's noon. Maybe it's because the mansion's a bit solitary, but if I'm here, I forget where we're living in a town. A crowd's liveliness, the sound of the ocean, the noise of traffic, a busy clock's tick-tock. Such ordinary happenings seem so, so far away when I'm in the mansion. Could this be considered isolation from the world? I mutter my own musings. That's a delusion. It's a delusion of one who has too much potential. Who was it that said true solitude occurs when observers can see it, but he himself does not know the meaning or existence of it. Can't understand what's said, can't be taught feelings. If a hand is stretched, there's something that can be reached immediately. Can't even think of stretching the hand, a life without colors. A loner in the middle of the whole world. Even though he has happiness, sadness, young days, old days, he does not know the meaning. A lost, lost, what was it? What was it? The tall sky suddenly feels so cruel. If the world becomes more beautiful, those who do not comprehend the beauty lose the light. Thus thought someone somewhere who is totally unrelated to me. My man gets just hella existential sometimes. Just out of nowhere, he'll just be like, cranking out the existentialism, right? So lunch ends. Even though Kohaku and Esui didn't eat breakfast or dinner with us, it's become somewhat of a rule to eat lunch with them. The thought of lunch livening things up and calms the mind. And what will I do today in the afternoon? I rub my full stomach and think, since it's a day off, I'll... 
sleep in my room, visit Akia's room, find history, find Kawaku. Um, what's in Makihisa's room? Father's room. That's interesting that he's back to calling him father, although I don't know if that's a localization thing, like a translation choice. There's a big difference between father and my old man, right? I think it's the right choice. Because I'm a little weird nowadays. <laughs> just a little weirdo. Just a little... Just a little... A little strange guy. I can't remember yesterday. I also get the feeling like I did this before. In these cases, the source of problems are usually him. Yeah, he might have some ridiculous thing like preventi sh preventing Shiki's inversion impulse in his diary. Oh, that sounds quite cool, actually. There should be a key to solve this problem in Father's room. I arrive at the room with devil speed. The door is unlocked. Luck is on my side. If it weren't open, then my plan would be stopped there. Huh? Why would it have been stopped? Thought I had a backup plan just in case it failed. Huh, well, it's open anyway, so I won't worry about that. I turn the door handle and step into the rarely visited room. Beep, 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 beep. What is that? With the ridiculous sound of a siren, the room turns into a warped space. What? I turn to escape through the door, but it's already gone. Whoa! Well, that's where that comes from. Thank you for waiting so long. Ah. Uh. Tsukihime, the how and why. The feeling of unavoidable foreboding doom. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you for coming, Shiki-san. You're the first one to visit after this program started. Kohaku-san look like suddenly flies in and babbles joyously and blurts out happily. Well... I guess I said it too redundantly, but she looks so happy that it might actually require the redundancy. But that won't do that, won't? You can't explore Makihisa-sama's room without permission. If you want to, you must pass through me. Kawaku-san lookalike brings out a microphone. Okay, Shiki-san, please have this hat and switch. If you press the switch, the hat will raise its hand. As I stare dumbly, Kawaku-san lookalike forces the hat on me and the switch in my hand. This is a quiz? Then the... Then the first thank you for waiting for so long, Tsukihime, the how and why will begin. If you get it all correct, there's a great prize in it for you. Get even one question correct, there's a great prize in it for you. To begin with, I think the title is really off. Cheeky san are you ready? Ready? I haven't even recovered from shock, but no matter what I say, the game will probably start. You look happy, Kohaku-san look like. I sigh as I say it. Yes, this is my only role this time. I'm already sick of it. Kawaku-san puffs up her chest. Really, her face isn't smiling radiantly, but radioactively. Please don't be sad. I'm only a girl of the shadow. I'm happy that I got treated like a heroine in the main storyline. So now I'm back to my roots to annoy you to your heart's content. I didn't even get in the top three at the popularity poll. Wow, that's... Not actually that surprising. This is a tearful story. Then let us begin. There are three categories. Common Sense, Tsukihime Main Storyline, and Tsukihime Summer Festival. The questions will be randomly selected. Well, I guess there's no escape route. That's correct! But please don't worry. This quiz has nothing to do with the main storyline. It's a total child's play, so even if you can't get it, it won't matter. So she says, but I'm pretty sure that if I get even one question wrong, there'll be something in it for me that's not a child's play. Failure is not allowed. Then the category will be... This topic is a Tsukihime main story. Well, someone has the uh, who has the original book or has played through Tsukihime like you might be able to get it pretty easily. Kawaku-san lookalike speaks full of regret. But what's the original book? I'm guessing... Garden of Sinners? Then the first question. The color would Arkwood sends magical eyes are golden when she gets serious. Second question. Shiki-san's classmate, the annoying Inui Haruhiko, is which hobby? Living out, living while enjoying. I think he just. Escaping is too. I think it's just this one. Third question. What's the color of Mysterious Seal Senpai's umbrella? What the frick, her umbrella? I. It's red? Fourth question. What's the name of the school at Kiyasama? Oh, that's Asagami Academy. Immediately the fifth question. Who's the one who sends out animals? That's Nero. Sixth question. It's a tricky one. When does Shiki-san start to perpetually fit? Oh, frick. Frick, dude. I don't know. I'm gonna say the seventh day. The seventh question is a spelling question. How do you spell Nero Chaos properly? This one is 
specifically against me. Okay, I know it's Kaiser at the end. Yeah, it's this one. Eighth question. It's one about you. Your last name is currently Konatone, but what was it f before? Aramin, Ryogi, Kishima, Hyoji, and... Okay. Ryogi there, huh? It's a Rima. And the last question. It's a memory question. Which one did Nero Sensei never send out in the main story? He never sent out a bear. Then it's the coup de gras. Now, who am I? The always cool Kohaku-san, the always perverted Hisui-chan, a spider. The brainwashed detective, broomstick girl, magical amber. That sounds actually very familiar. I'm going to go with that one. How's this? The last answer. But Kohaku-san look like doesn't move and chuckles while smiling in a very foreboding way. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> you're not correct, Shiki-san. Ah, really? It's very regrettable, but the rule's a rule. I'll give you a great prize. With a smiling face, Kawaku-san looked like approaches. Wait, wait, just a moment. I can't move my body. But wait, it's unfair, Kawaku-san look like. At least tell me what I got wrong. I cannot tell you that. If I tell you, won't you just get everything right after figuring it out? I can't let you go so easily. Damn it. I shouldn't have chosen father's room. Oh, Shiki-san, you know surprisingly well. With that, Kawaku-san look like claps her hands. With a clank, the floor below me disappears. I was actually wondering if it were a trap even before my body started falling. Shiki-san, don't get hurt. What a ridiculous thing to say. I've fallen to unknown depths. That's very hollow ataraxia, that whole sequence. Where are we? When I wake up, I find myself in the basement. Oh, is this, is this where he was? Ah! Maybe hit my spine on the way down, but my whole body is creaking. Damn it! This really is the basement. Clang. I wipe my forehead with my hand. Uh, clang. Uh, ah! Uh, my hands and feet are chained! How thorough. To be this thorough must be Kohaku-san's doing. Oh, it's cold. I shiver as I hug myself. Clang, the heavy sound depresses me. This is way beyond child's play. I'll probably go insane if I spend more than a day here. I try smashing the prison with a sizable stone. Maybe it's made of titanium, but the stone gives way. I can't help it. Ah, uh, but someone's saying a song how the basement is safe or something? And maybe that'll become a theme song. But I really must get out of here before the sun sets. Look around for a rock that could act as a knife. Simple, found one. Uh, but what do I do now? The chains aren't destroyed by the rock. Why do I think I could easily break free with such a simple object? Ho ho ho, that won't do, Shiki-san. You can't think such dangerous thoughts. The sound of someone coming down the stairs ring through the prison. K kohaku san Yes, thank you for waiting. Please wait a moment. I'll open it shortly. Creak with a rusty sound, the prison opens up. I'm glad. Even though the joke's in bad taste, it's still a joy. Wait a sec. Oh, God! What are you holding, kohaku san Why do you mean what? It's needle time. It hurts my heart to do this, but it can't be helped. Since you didn't sincerely reflect back on your actions, I have to give you this medicine to make you listen better. Ah! Lies! Lies! kohaku san you look so happy! Ah? Uh, no, that can't be. It's not true. Really, I don't like hurting. Fool! No one likes hurting! It lightly approaches this devil in an apron. No, this devil without an apron. Ha! Ah, okay, okay! Understood! I'll not leave any food at dinner! I'll not go out to eat! Heck, I'll even wake up early! <laughs> you can't get away with just that! Now please, calm down so it doesn't hurt. God, that's terrifying. Let's get this over with quickly. Ah! Okay, then let's do this! What you say makes sense, but let's just do one and one only. Mm, don't worry about that. I brought two just in case I failed. She smiles and pokes the arm with my arm with the needle. Shiki-san, can you hear me? Now this is your room. Please don't ever go out. If you do, then I won't become violent either. I'll raise you gently so that you can't think anymore. Kohaku-san chuckles. Ugh. I've met many bad ends, but I don't think I can surpass this one. That's horrible. That is a truly horrible ending. I am shocked at how... How bad that one is. The system manager's novel recommendation of the day. 
The Star is a Grave by Tani Kosher. How many of those are there? How many different startup messages are there? I have to wonder. Well, that's Kagetsu Toya for today. We're going to need definitely a bit more extra time to like get that quiz done. That's for sure. What's on the other side, I wonder? Huh. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And uh, again, we're just going in and searching, exploring, having a good time, right? So I will see you all next time for some more. Let's read Kigetsu Toya. Bye-bye.